Hey guys, welcome to the Math Base. Today we'll look at quadrantal angles like 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees. And we'll work out some trigonometric ratios for them, like the sine of 90 or tangent of 180. Okay, so on a circle, draw a cross through the center. Notice the four points where it touches the circle. These points create quadrantal angles. In other words, it's the points which separate the circle into its four quadrants. This is much easier to do on a unit circle because it's conveniently placed at the origin, allowing you to use the axes to see the quadrantal angles. As part of standard convention, the rightmost point on the unit circle has an angle of zero degrees. So this is where everything rotates from. At this point, we have the coordinates one comma zero. If we rotate this point 90 degrees counterclockwise along the circle, we will land on the y-axis, establishing another quadrantal angle. So at 90 degrees, we get the coordinates 0, 1. We can continue this process for the rest of them, giving the following angles and respective coordinates. At this point, some of you may ask, how does this help me find the sine of 90 degrees? Well, remember how the unit circle's axes are labeled as cos theta and sine theta? These labels refer to how much you rotated your point, but they still represent x and y. So at zero degrees, your coordinates could be rephrased as cos zero degrees comma sine zero degrees instead of one comma zero. Since they mean the same thing, we can relate the ideas together and say the cos of zero degrees will give us a value of one, while the sine of zero degrees will give us a value of zero. It's kind of like working backwards to figure out which value answers the question. So in a similar fashion at 90 degrees, we could rephrase the coordinates as cos 90 comma sine 90. This means cos 90 equals 0 and sine 90 equals 1. And we can do something similar for the other quadrantal angles. So let's try a question. Say we want to work out the sine of 270. Draw your unit circle, rotate 270 counterclockwise, and label the point as 0, negative 1. Pick out the y value, and this is sine 270 degrees. So we can say sine 270 equals negative 1. But what if we wanted to work out tangent ratios, like tangent 180? Tangents aren't displayed anywhere. On your unit circle, the angle would be at this point, negative 1, 0. But this is only giving you cos and sine, right? However, tangent can be found by dividing sine over cos. So all you need to do is use both values and divide them off. So 0 divided by negative 1 gives you 0. So tangent 180 equals 0. Bear in mind that if you're finding tangent 90 or tangent 270, both points on the circle have an x value of 0. So both cases would divide by 0, making them undefined. So that's how you find trigonometric ratios with quadrantal angles. They're also quite useful for sketching your basic sine, cos, and tangent curves. And that's it. If you have any questions or suggestions for concepts you would like me to teach, please comment down below. I hope this video has helped. If it has, please like the video so that others can be helped by it. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you know when the next video comes in. Thanks guys, see you in the next one!